Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the charts, but mainly I want to talk to you about protecting and unprotecting a workbook using visual basic code. Um, what I want to show you, I have this worksheet protected already. You can hit Alt TPP for Alt uh, for Tools Protection and protect or unprotect depending on where you're at currently so I've just unprotected the worksheet um, as I said in the last video there's a lot of chart elements that you cannot control unless you've unprotected albeit temporarily uh, the worksheet so I'm going to show you how to do that in VBA so that you don't have to have the user pause unprotect the worksheet and then continue the macro which would just defeat the purpose of automation um, here's some tips and subtleties but let's dive right in I'm in an alt F11 oh, looks like I'm still in the middle of a macro here let's go ahead and make a new macro at the bottom and let's see here squish these ones together okay this one is going to be called protection tips okay so now we're in the thick of it first things first I want to show you what happens when you go to the developer tab and record a new macro uh, and you go ahead what I'm going to do I'm going to hit alt T P P and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I first of all um, I'll go ahead and put a password P A S S it's all lowercase and I'm going to click on format. I want the user to be able to format cells, select locked and unlocked cells, and delete rows, and to be able to sort and edit objects. Just to be, just to be kind of random here, but uh, each of these options being checked, you'll see in a moment. So I'm going to hit OK. Re-enter the password to proceed. P A S S, and I will hit OK. All right. So now we've got the worksheet worksheet hidden, and if I hit something, of course, or not hidden, excuse me, it's protected. So um, let's go ahead and stop recording and take a look at what just happened in the Visual Basic Editor. And of course, I got to that by clicking Alt F11, Alt F11, Alt F11. Okay, toggles it. Um, I'm going to go to the largest numbered module because that's typically where new macros get recorded and sure enough here's one so let's take a look at what we did there first of all range f8 dot select wow I must have clicked on f8 right here I didn't even know it then I clicked the I wanted the active sheet to be protected and here is all the checkboxes that I clicked on the drawing objects colon equals false um, contents equals true uh, edit, they're able to edit scenarios format editing allow deleting rows equals true remember when I clicked on delete rows allow sorting equals true so that's sort so that will have their little names you might want to take a look at what they are when you record a macro really quick but that's how that works so and then apparently I clicked on cell H6 I don't remember that but I'm sure I did in fact that's what I have right now so I probably did uh, then I clicked on uh, active sheet dot chart ob okay so I clicked on this this chart here that I named bazooka and I activated it by clicking on it and I mentioned I clicked on G4 so the most important thing is this active sheet dot protect or if we had given the sheet a nickname it may have been MC sheet dot protect or whatever and you just type a space and whatever um, now I'll show you on the alternately active sheet dot unprotect you guessed it and if you hit a space your uh, there may be a password that you're prompted to so let's see here so okay let's see here um, if you want to take off or to unprotect the worksheet um, you're going to want to put a space and then put the password in quotes uh, an alternate method is using 
password colon equals and so the password uh, part of the un dot unprotect would be right there uh, let's try that in a second let's see are we protected right now we are protected so let's hit uh, I'm going to remove the range f8 dot select but it, ideally what you would do is you would have active C dot protect I don't know why I didn't do the password here but uh well we can't do that right now can we because we are protected let's try this part active sheet dot unprotect password colon equals pass I'm going to hit F8 and sure enough we are unprotected now so that worked um, let's take off all this chart business we'll uncomment all this here and we'll start over so what I want to show you here is that if I hit F8 active sheet dot protect see right now there's no password um, I'm going to stop the macro so if I were to hit if I were to put uh, let's say in the immediate window active sheet dot unprotect and if I hit enter the active sheet is now unprotected and I can do whatever I want but if you put uh, the password feature equals pass again immediately following the dot protect or somewhere along the line let's try that active sheet dot protect the password is pass and then we'll unprotect it using the same password so hit F8 with me okay so we have now protected it if I hit alt TPP it'll say what's the password if I hit ASDF it's gonna say that's not the right password however in VBA we can say active sheet dot protect password equals pass and if I hit F8 yes also you can pass a variable with the same text in there so for example if the user inputted something or some macro made it so that this magically worked out or just for example's sake we could say uh, just using a variable my var you could do anything you could okay I'm going to say blah because that's a variable that really shows you that it's nothing particular. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Equals the text PASS. All right. So now let's try that. Then we're going to have the password to be equal to blah. Notice there's no quotes because that's a variable. It contains words within it. So hit F8 with me. Active sheet dot protect. And the, we know the password is pass. And all these um, elements are are there. Now blah is empty until I hit F8 and now blah equals the text pass. Active sheet dot unprotect password equals pass. See it says B L A H but we know that the variable contains the word pass. So it worked. Wow, check that out. So um, one other thing, just saying active sheet dot protect doesn't it's not what you want. Uh, let me show you what that does. I'm going to hit Alt TPP for protect. If you just do active sheet dot protect, that's like you clicking OK right now. You're saying that they cannot select locked or unlocked cells. They can't format cells. They can't do anything. So all these check marks here are these features right here. Uh, the password equals pa or drawing objects equals false contents equals true scenarios allow formatting of cells allow deleting of rows so um, those are important so anyway thanks for watching um, oh again about charts what you want to do is you for some features and charts you want to protect or uh, unprotect the workbook or excuse me unprotect the sheet then you want to do whatever in the world it is that you're going to do to the chart right here and then oops okay you get the point here um, you put your code here and then you put your uh, go ahead and protect it back with all the features that you need for that particular protection whether or not you want a password or not if you don't want a password take it off of here and take it off of here then it's a lot easier. So anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.